Right, just further working into uh, this abstraction series, looking at different artists, uh, I'm just going to look at working in the style of Victoria, I don't know if it's Seema or Sima, uh, but we're looking at working in the style of that artist. Now I've got a few different variations I've looked at. This is an image I found on Google that I've edited. Uh, this one is a previous student piece of work. I particularly like this one because they've taken the circle, they've flipped it round, but actually if you look closely where the building and the bench are, they fall and overlap in front of the circle. Um, this one is a picture of mine where I've just flipped uh, and done some deletion on, and again with this one. So I'm just going to go through a couple of those examples uh, and show you how to do them or how I've gone about doing them. And I'll go through the easier method, and um, one that's probably the slightly more uh, exact method as well. So I'll do the easier method on this one. So I'm actually just going to delete the work I've already done. Uh, right, so I've got my base image here. This was already edited in terms of like colour and contrast, etc. through Lightroom, um, of which, or you can do it through uh, Photoshop using your adjustment panels as per usual. Uh, so what I did on here is I went to my marquee tools and I selected out the elliptical marquee tool. And then when I create my selection, I'm going to hold down the shift key in order to get a um, nice equal circle. And before I do anything with that, I can move it around. So I'm going to move it just to include that little bird and uh, the uh, moon behind it. And I'm just going to try and use my judgment to make that as central as possible. Then I'm going to hold control and press J to duplicate that circle. So now I have that selection. I'm going to use transform on that, which is control T, and I am going to change the height to a minus in front of the 100% and the width to a minus. So I flipped it both horizontally and vertically, and then I'm going to accept it. And that section's done. And just in the style of uh, Victoria Seema, I have got a, uh, I've got my rubber here. I've got it on a soft edge brush, and I'm just going to, on that layer, delete some of the circle there and then I'm going to lower the opacity on that brush and I'm just going to delete out a little more. And there I've got my sort of semi-circle fading out into the original picture to create some degree of abstraction. That's one uh, version of it. Now to do something that's a little bit more exact I'm going to have a look at this layer. Uh, so this image. So I'm just going to delete the work I've already done. And this is this beautiful image I've got offline. Um, and how I'm going to do this one is ever so slightly different. So I'm going to do this by, first of all, creating myself a square. Now, um, I've on this one, on the square tool, and again, you might need to select the shape you want to do. So the square tool, I've put the fillers black, the stroke is black, and using the shift key again, I'm going to create myself a perfect square. Now I'm not worried about where I place that at the minute because now I've created that square. I'm going to hold control and select both the square layer that I've made, the rectangle layer, and the background layer. And on the left hand side on the move tool, I'm going to centralize that and using align horizontal centers and I'm going to align vertical centers so it's perfectly in the center of that image. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, I am going to then just select out the rectangle layer and I'm going to hold control and I'm going to hover over the icon of that layer and select it. And then I'm going to unsee that layer, select on my original picture and then I'm going to control and J that image. So now I've got, I'm not seeing that black rectangle I've made, but I have got a, a square shape from the centre of that picture. Again, I'm going to transform this. This time I'm just going to put a minus in front of the height, flip it round, and I'm happy with that. Then, on this layer, I'm going to add a layer mask. And that's down here at the bottom right-hand corner of Photoshop, and it's the one that looks like a rectangle with a circle cut out of it. Now, you'll see that the layer mask is now uh, added next to that layer, and there's a little connecting chain uh, that shows that they are linked. Now, it's currently on white, and basically this works by using black and white paint tool, and you can use grey scale in between that. But the black and white is that the white means that whatever is in that picture layer is there, and you delete using the black, but then you can add back in using the white. So it's a bit like a temporary rubber. So I'm going to go to my paintbrush tool, 
which is uh, on black and I've got size 600, I've got a soft edged, uh, a soft edged brush and I put my opacity to about 43% and I'm just going to start to go in in the style of our artist and delete out of that layer. And there we go, that is a Victoria Simon style edit. Now there are lots of places you could go with this artist. For example, Nicholas, is it Gustafsson? Uh, Sarah Wickings. Here's a further work example by Sarah Wickings. You can also look at work by Tia Redding and work by David Copythorne.